There are so many things that we're told to put on our registry before we have a baby. So let's go over some of the things that you really don't need that people tell you or convince you or even influence you that you do need. The first thing that I wanna bring up is a docatot. The docatot is something that when I was pregnant with my first baby, I was convinced I needed because they have all these cute prints. It looks so squishy and comfortable for your baby. You know, they had the floral print I believe I saw on a YouTuber's video and I just thought it was just the best thing ever. I never purchased one outright. I actually got one handed down from a previous client. I never really used it. I tried, but it just, it wasn't for me. The alternative to the Dogatot was just a simple bobby. I just would use my boppy to lay all my kids down and the docatot just wasn't something that I really used. You don't need it and it's very expensive. The next thing that I have on my list is a wipe warmer. Do we really need a wipe warmer? The correct answer is no, you don't. I mean, I know for some people, I feel like it's like this thought that we have in our heads like, oh, well the wipes are gonna be warm, the baby will appreciate that and everything. But I promise as long as they are not ice cold, your baby will be fine. You do not do not need a wipe warmer. I was gifted one when I was pregnant with Roman and honestly, I never used it. It was just like a waste and then the condensation would get everywhere. It's so much quicker to just have the wipes on hand wherever you have them. It is something that I wouldn't waste my money on and I would not recommend anyone waste their money on. So this next one is kind of three and four and that would be a changing mat, pad, Changing pad, I think it's called a changing pad. Now, when I say changing pad, I'm talking about the soft, cushy ones that people usually will put on top of a dresser or a changing table, that sort of thing. I had one with Roman, is it convenient? Yes, is it nice? Yes, do you need it? No, because let me tell you, I would change my baby on the couch, on the bed, on the floor before ever going to that changing mat. Carpeted floor, of course. It's just not something that you need, you know? It's something that looks nice. I think in all the nursery tours, it looks really great. If it's your first baby, I understand and you're trying to do up the nursery, but you really don't need it. Which leads me into my second one. Now, these are the changing pads that are a scale. And I don't know how much these are going for, but I'll put a picture on the screen. I don't know. Unless you're really curious to see how much your baby weighs, if you're like concerned about like feeding, if they're gaining enough weight on your own and that's something that you wanna track, then okay, I get it. But I would not waste my money on it. This next one I feel could be a little controversial and that is baby socks. I have so many baby socks left over from all three of my kids. And how often did I use them? Not much probably a lot with Roman and every now and then with the other two, but they fall off all the time. When they're kicking those little feet, the socks always fall or slide off. Now, a good alternative is if you get them the little Velcro booties, I think those are very well worth it. They can kind of be pricey, like 19, 20 bucks, but I will tell you right now that they were worth every penny and I was actually gifted some, so Baby socks, I'm just not a fan of. The next thing on my list is baby detergent. I had baby detergent for Roman. After that, I didn't need it. Some people's babies do have sensitive skin, so maybe you do need that baby detergent. I did not use baby detergent at all. And then I think that they hike up the price for it too, because of course you want what's best for your baby, but uh, normal detergent was just something that we were fine with. Next, we have an expensive bassinet. So I'm sure you've seen the Halo bassinet. I even had a Halo bassinet that I didn't purchase with my own money, but it was a hand-me-down from a family member. I used it maybe twice when Eli was a newborn and then I never used it again. Yeah, it's cool that it swivels and you can put it right next to your bed or maybe hovering a little over your bed, but Honestly, it just took up a lot of space. I didn't love it. It was just, it just wasn't my cup of tea. Now, there is one that I did use a lot with CJ and it's called the Papa Blick. Papa Blick? I don't know how to pronounce it, but I used it a lot. Did I use it like every single night? No, I used it much more than I did the Halo bassinet and I feel like I got my money's worth because I got it off Amazon. It was really nice. And the last thing that I have on my list is infant Tylenol. If you didn't know, you can use children's Tylenol 
the same way you would use infant Tylenol. Just make sure you're using the correct dosage. They do hike up the price on infant Tylenol, so that's kind of annoying, but they are the same thing, and I've been told that many times from many doctors. Overall, that is all that I have for my infant essentials that you do not need. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.